ITV 47 today to the Director of the Internal Affairs Unit of the National Police Service, written by activist turned Senator Okia Omtata. He is calling for them to conduct investigations into police conduct during the protests that have rocked the country over the month of June and July. This follows weeks of complaints over police brutality and extrajudicial killings. Victims of protests still reeling from the injuries and the pain of losing their comrades, Busia Senator Okio Mtata today in a letter addressed to the Director of Internal Affairs, Unit of the National Police Service, calling for thorough investigations into police conduct during the June-July protests held nationwide. The unit is also mandated to receive and investigate complaints against the police from the Independent Police Oversight Authority and the general public. Section 13.6 of the Prevention of Torture Act of 2022 states categorically that where an allegation of torture is made in respect of a police officer, the procedures for investigation provided for under Section 87 of the National Police Service Act, Cap 84, and Sections 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 of the Police Oversighting Authority, Cap 86, shall apply. Demands being made are for accountability and transparency by the police for the killing of up to 64 people during the demos with up to 50 bodies claimed by the families. Also, rogue police officers, mostly hooded and in civilian dressing, have, contrary to the law, targeted and snatched many people off the streets or from their homes and some abductees have turned up dead or maimed and or badly traumatized. The questions left unanswered by many are whether the actions by the police were premeditated and if so, who commanded them. Omtata in his letter also asked for the public and stakeholders to be allowed access to information so as to be able to put checks and balances on police conduct. Respect for the rule of law, democracy, human rights and fundamental freedoms. On the objects and functions of the National Police Service, Article 244 of the Constitution of Kenya requires the officers to be transparent and accountable and to comply with the high standards of human rights and fundamental freedoms. This comes at a day after the president pronounced himself as the protector of the Constitution and is running a country where everybody enjoys their freedoms, including the media. Now the call for action is for investigations to be done into the extrajudicial killings and police misconduct witnessed during the Gen Z protests in the months of June and July. Antony Mwangi, TV 47.